I've written a small assembly file uh, for Linux using uh, syscalls to write to the console. So let's take a look at how it works. Uh, we have here the code. Uh, this is written for uh, NetWide Assembler or NASM. Uh, and in this part we have the data where you can see the message and the message length is computed here. So um, what happens is um, <coughs> first we set the parameters. These are the C parameters for the write function call, which uh, first specifies the file handle. Uh, in Linux one is uh, a standard output then we have the message, then the message length. Finally, the syscall one is right, and we perform the syscall. So this is uh, the part of the file that actually uh, writes the message to the console. And then the second part uh, is actually another syscall that uh, exits uh, the program. So uh, in Linux, uh, the syscall parameters are sent only in registers. In this case, the first three parameters are in uh, RDE, RAC, RDX. Uh, and uh, the stack is uh, not used uh, for any of the syscalls. And in uh, RAX, uh, we always have the syscall number. And uh, the return value from the syscall, if any, uh, will also be in uh, rocks. So uh, let's see uh, how to compile this. I've already written a small uh, shell file that uh, compiles the program. Uh, in a previous video I've shown you how to install uh, NASM in a, a local folder, in your home folder, uh, without needing uh, root access. So I'm using this uh, installation and I specify I want uh, L64 output, so a 64-bit computer. Uh, I'm also specifying I don't want any optimizations, I want debug information, I want it to produce a listing file. Uh, the name of the output will be disp.o and uh, I'm assembling this .asm. Then uh, we need to link this to produce a final exec table. I'm using LD uh, and uh, I'm specifying again the target L64 on x86 64 bit. Uh, and I'm uh, linking this .o produced by NASP. Uh, the output will be disp. I'm specifying uh, the entry is called main. You see it here, so it has uh, nothing to do with the C main function. Uh, this is a uh, standalone uh, assembly language. It has absolutely nothing to do with uh, C. I'm also specifying a very small stack size of uh, 100. And uh, actually, I'm not using the stack here. Uh, I placed here a ret, but uh, it will never be executed since uh, calling the exit syscall, the process will be terminated and there will be nothing executed uh, beyond this final syscall. So let's see what happens. Uh, it executed, it created uh, the object file, uh, then uh, we have the listing where we can see the machine code associated with uh, the instructions and the executable. Um, so let me execute it. Maybe clear and execute it again so we can see the uh, hello world uh, message being displayed. Okay, so I hope you all found this useful, so don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and see you next time. Bye!